it's giveaway time. Welcome back to LA though. Uh, never done this before, but I figured since it is about Christmas time that I wanted to get you all engaged with me a little more and also to give something to someone who uh, appreciates these videos and watches these videos. So yes, as you see on the whiteboard that I so beautifully put together just a moment ago, um, you need to comment below. My giveaway is going to be a $20 gift card to wherever you want. That's what you have to comment below. Make sure you go down there and right now, do it right now, and write down what places you love the most that you would want a $20 gift card to. And I will combine all the names together that comment down below. Or if you know, if you can't comment down below for some reason, you can text me or whatever, some, some way of contacting me to where I can compile all the names and then I will put them all together and around the Christmas time I'll mix them and then I will draw one and then I will get that person a gift card, a $20 gift card, mind you, $22, $20 gift card, you heard it, to that place that I choose that you told me that you want one from and I'll give it to you. So that is going to be exciting. I hope a lot of you will comment down below. Now to get into the meat of the video. Today's video is, I believe, very important for all of us young Christian adults to really hear and listen to because this is something that has been so much on my head, not literally on my head, but in my head a lot lately. And it is pursuing your passions and what you love and not giving up on them, but fighting for them. So I have three points that I want to go for and I want you all to hear and I'll talk a little bit about them and dive into them. The first point is keep fighting for what you love. I don't know what all of you love to do necessarily, but what I love to do is videography and photography and I also love basketball and I also love working with people and helping others and just serving them. And so what can I do with that? And I've, I always have ways that I can do that, but so easily it'd be easy for me to just give up on those and go find the easy path uh, in life and the one that's just simple and the one that makes the most sense. But what I really want to tell people is you can't give up on those passions, the things that God has instilled in you that you love to do, that you're happy when you do them and you love them. The second point is to pursue godly passions and not the fleshly and sinful passions that the world gives us and offers us. Now what do I mean by that? I mean that God has always, in each one of us, has instilled into us something that we're passionate about. He's given us a passion, he's given us a gift, he's given us things that we love to do, people we love to be around, and we have the choice to go follow his path for our life or we have the choice to follow the world's path for our life. And there is there is a better path and I can tell you that is God's path because I have gone down that worldly path, I've tried it before, um, it does not get you anywhere. The third point and the thing that we just need to remember always is that life is going to beat us down constantly. And being a young Christian adult, it's never been more true in my life before than, than now. And it's just like moment after moment, I feel like I'm on the ground just like wanting to be lifted up. And I'm always reminded that through every single moment that I'm falling on the ground, metaphorically of course, God is always right there to help me back up. Yes, life is going to beat each one of us down, and you know what, it's not gonna be easy, but he's always there to help us up, and we can't give up on what he's chosen our path to be, no matter what it is. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, as always. Make sure to go down and subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and hit that bell button. Also, don't forget to go down in the comments below if you wanna win that $20 gift card. Please, please, please don't forget to do that. I urge you to do it because, gee, I'm the one buying the gift for you, so hey. Uh, as always, thank you, have a blessed day, and see you later. Merry Christmas.